Tozers back in 2016, and they did what was called the fan tails, the two turnarounds. Okay. And then in 2017, we took the entire lift hill right down to the ground, built a new lift hill, redid the lift hill, then we put new trains on it. But one thing we'd never done is kind of re-engineered it. We took what we had and we just used the existing track. So what we did is we worked with the Gravity Group out of Cincinnati, Ohio, um, and they have been, if you've ever talked to those guys, they're big lovers of, of wooden coasters, and that's why they do that. Uh, so they came with this new style pre-engineered track, which is a section right above you. Typically, the bottom six layers, you can see it here, are laid horizontal. And um, we still had to do some of that. But what happens on your wood when it's horizontal, if you step on it, it starts to deflect a little bit. Well, they took it and they stood it this way, so now it, there's not much deflection on it, and it's actually a stronger track. And all of this was measured and surveyed before, um, you know, back in October, September, right. October. And then they cut all the wood, labeled it all, and it came in and we just pieced it together as we went through. So now if we have track that goes bad, everything's identified, and we can tell them what piece is bad, what, you know, what section is bad, and they can recut that and ship it to us, and then we install the track. So in all the straightaways, what we try to do is add more support by adding strength. And then on the curves, we went from an older style train back in 2017 to these new great coaster trains, single axle, articulating, and they take the turns a little bit different than what the older style coaster trains did. So we had to take the, the entrance into the curve and bank it. And you'll see sections where you might have just had a flat turn. Now it's a, it's a bank turn. Um, and we did that. So while we did that, we had to add a lot more reinforcement in the center. So we had to dig out the full section, for a new pad, instead of having some of these old footings. Because some of these old footings, like here, those were poured 100 years ago, just about. 1926 piers. And um, they're still standing. They're still original. And the other thing we did in between is every single thing that you see like this is considered a lag or a bench. We added what's called mid-span vents, and there's now 50 to 60 more vents in the kosher than there were last year. So we had additional support throughout uh, the kosher. And then our goal is to put the trains on this week because temperature really hasn't been on our on our side. And next week, start doing all of our testing, and then accelerometer testing, and then eventually, you know, trying it out. Halfway.